shows up in five. Obviously, they have had very much so consistency issues running into the night. So, Smoke going to be down. Bowler going to be able to cross the path there onto the objective. And is going to be a little bit of a contest. Saucy, though, he is mad crack crazy. As he's going to get shots on a few. Suwa is going to get the clean up there and the assist. Absolutely on point. So, point 10 out. points almost go through in the pockets of uh, Tia Lead. And right now, everyone's showing up to the uh, big occasion. Awesome. But for how much longer can they do so? Blur from the bottom side, going to be able to clear off the objective. Nope, she sweet wins that one. And a back and forth P1. And I can already tell, Bobby, this one is going to be scrappy. No question about it. Right now, neither team able to get a big chunk here on P1. Sam will finally able to get players on, but a slow start for them, no question. Law is going to spot out one and is going to be able to take down Jez, trying to get the read. Saw Bolu peek out below, but timing does not go his way at all. Is going to be able to take down space regardless, but Solo slides on through. Big kill for him, and obviously both of these teams going to look heavily to play over toward P2. This is a money hill, and Tealy is fully set up and ready to go. Not a good start for Seminole off the start of this one. Yeah, they are full stacking it right there. The backside spawn's going to be locked down. Everything is going to be coming from the front. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, as soon as I say that, Solo, I mean, I don't know what he's on. He's the fastest kid alive. He's going to get shut down, though. The contest and the dreams of getting the break here early on, not going to be happening. So, Tealy locking it down here on the spawns as well as the objective. But Solo, just as soon as he does spawn back in, he is all over this objective, Bobby. Unfortunately, though, it's not going to result in a break. But that was a nasty three-piece in the feed. Nonetheless, TLE still very much so in the driver's seat. And two players that we expect to have some of the biggest impact so far. Jez and Bolu combined for three kills. Bolu is still sitting on a goose egg, and we are almost heading on over to P3. He has got to get going quickly, TLE. Definitely got something to prove in this one. It is going to be solo hitting the early rotation for Seminole. Then looking to lock down the top side, Fennec in hand. He's had a solid start so far, but got to get more contributions out of the squad. That flashbang going to get him some information. Not going to be a two-piece, even amid the flash log. Going to be able to find a kill right there. It is seminal on the inside of the hard point, but you got to get some of these spawns pushed out. And right now, they're in a rough spot with only one player on the inside of the hard point in Jits. Yep. Got to get this man some support. Speaking of in space, he's going to be able to find one. Trying to get the second solo. Going to be able to just run rampantly through this spinning. And this man's hand, something different. Bolu finally getting on board with a few kills himself. They're hopping the hill for some objective time, too, as well as fences. Starting to turn up the Jets here for the side of Seminole. They're going to need a tenfold if they want to make it back into this one. So, kills coming through. Bolo slow start. A fast, fast P3 fences site. Leads to some profit of some kills, and sure enough, that is TLE right back onto the objective. So, 15 seconds left to go. It's a battle for new. And you can start to see a lot of gunfights still at old. Very much so a 1v1 in the present. So, oh, maybe a 1v2. And that felt like a solid hold out of Seminole. So, for them to only be sitting at 33 points once again, they, they just got to hit these rotations a little bit better. He only had one player out early in solo, and as soon as he gets shut down... Big chunk of that hard point time disappears. Bolu wins a big gunfight right there, able to shut down the purifier. And right now, a big opportunity for them to lock in some major time, but she's sweet around the corner. Be able to find another crucial kill, and just like that, TLE breaks back in. This does not look remotely like the same team that we saw on those first three maps up against Luminosity. No, it definitely. They've definitely poked the bear as you mentioned it. It's certainly uh, come down to Seminole not really being present here. As uh, We got a little bit of a warm-up, though. The pacing here for the CLE squad certainly very much so catered towards that LG play style. Seminole, a little different. They are just absolutely running away with this lead. This thing's starting to slow down here. The 15 seconds left to go. Not much of a contest coming through. Seminole finally going to be able to get in. The playmaker in solo, he has been the man with a plan, but it eventually... Does not just seem to pan out. It's she sweet gonna be able to be the last man standing. So I say that Bolo actually gonna be able to shut him down, but it's gonna be for nothing. 90 point deficit rolling into P1 Bobby. Seminole on the brink of getting, I mean, Bobby in these first sets of hills. And you make a good point. Like they haven't had the same amount of warm up as TLE has. And maybe that's something we see changed on this second set of rotations, but we just haven't seen much sign that they're gonna be able to switch things on at any point here. 
And right now, they've got to start winning some of these crucial gunfights. Blur going to be shut down off the point once again, and it continues to be TLE. Now up to nearly a 100-point lead. Jez going to look to contest right here, and you've got a pretty wide open mid-map where you should be able to lock in some of that time. Sweewa has no business being alive. He's got one HP, but the comms just don't seem to be there for Seminole, and he's able to get away with his life and a kill. Just time and time again, things taking a turn for the worse for the Seminole squad. And Saucy absolutely tearing it up with that kilo in hand right now. Big rotation. Sui was going to win a crucial gunfight right here. And they're set up perfectly. 110 point lead. And Seminole scrambling for some type of map control. Yeah, P2 is about to pop open. Seminole, I think you just hit it right on the head. Scrambling, it seems like, is the best case or the best word to use of this one. They have not been very, I mean, just not been very uh, coordinated. As a matter of fact, the Gravity Vortex is going to shut down the Annihilator on the rotation. And this P2 already starting off to be a bad, bad sign here for Seminole. See if some of the playmakers can step up because they have not really shown up at all here in the hard point. There goes three in the feed. There goes the War Machine as well as the Sparrow there from space. They're looking to hold off this garage side hit. It is certainly coming down to the wire here, Bobby. The day of reckoning here, TLE might be able to shut this one down with a good break. And... Right now, several doing everything they can just to not have things end on this second set of rotations. They've got so much work to do to get back into it. But Bolu going to be able to shut down the Sparrow. He gets traded out. They are going to opt to go ahead and rotate once again. One player here to contest, but Bolu, it's not worth the time right now. You got to get out and into the gunfights over here on P3. And right now, Jez is going to look to set up with the AK-117 in hand. Not a weapon that I expected to see come into play. He's going to get some damage onto Shisui. Not quite enough for a kill, but they've got players on the inside of the hard point. And I, you can't ask for much more than that, given what we've seen out of them so far. Is Right now, they're just trying to avoid the 100-point club. Sui was going to pop the Annihilator. Shut down by space. Big kill right there. Saucy in the top side. Looking to push on through with the Claw. There's a lot of Seminole players looking to push through, but this could be a crucial flank and one that could potentially end the game right here. That's a juicy two-piece, and just like that, Spawn should flip out. And Seminole right back into the blender. Yep. Close last as well. This is not a great way to start it off. Seminole not rising up to the occasion. Not enough time to close it out here, so they do have a P4 rotation. They've got to get tested. Every second that does go into pockets of TLE is just that much more closer to close it out. So, to take us off to go, looks like we're going to see some time coming through yet again there for the boys over at TLE. Space last ditch effort to contest is going to get shut down. And it might be coming down to an ending here on the P4 rotation. Rock site, where this one could certainly end. We've already got players in, or one inside of the back line there in Law, but he's going to get shut down. The hill's going to pop open for business. If this is as good, it is booming here for TLE. And right now, if you're several, you got, what, a hundred and... A hundred sixty point lead that you got to close out. It, it would take the most perfect hard point that we have ever seen and there is an emp system going into play zyrex for zyrex showing just how dominant they've been so far solo doing his best to at least keep this contested to keep the game alive but he's gonna get shut down by Swiwa. and with that last player left alive space doing everything he can he pops the sparrow an opportunity but Maybe a tad overzealous right there. It is going to be a game crash. Fortunately, I do have the tablet up and running as well, but looks like we're probably close to the end of this one. Bringing in some of the biggest kills here Capture in this one. I thought it got nerfed the way we didn't see it in EU, but certainly it is very much so useful. Last hit here now is, uh, are we going to get 100 point clubs? Is that how we're going to start this one out? Similar? It does seem like the test is, is going to come through. They're going to be able to find a few kills. They're going to dig themselves out of this with space. Not able to get the job done. Bolu, last ditch effort. He gets shut down. It's 250 to 99. They were so close to reaching triple digits. The scoreboard doesn't necessarily look like something that you would expect to see. Express, they could actually hang with the best, but we're over a meltdown right now. We got an even playing field, so... First six rounds, it's going to be on the attack here for TLE. Backs against the wall. They've got a full wide open A zone to hit, and they are full sending it. Suwa so, uh, going to get concussed on into the rotation. Jen on the trail and takes the bait. He gets dropped. Has been 
Wow. I mean, that's about all you can ask for off the start there for TLE. They're fully set up inside the bomb site. You get Jez first blood in out of the way, and now the pressure on. Utility does go out. Sweewa gonna take some damage, but nobody there to make him pay. And right now, you got space just trying to jump up, see if he can catch somebody over that top side, but Law is farming right now. Two kills on the board. It is all TLE off the start of that one. And Seminole did not stand a chance. Okay, well, that's just a first round. Maybe it's just a little bit of jitters. I don't know. This Seminole team just does not look Defend the enemy has like the Seminole that I recall back from last week. I don't know. Something happened over the weekend. Obviously, a big update came through. I don't know. Uh, maybe we're looking too much into it. Right now, TLE, they are not looking like the same team we even saw earlier tonight. As a matter of fact, they are absolutely owning this one. They've got a free plan over to the B side, a little bit of planted. mind tricks, and they've got Seminole, I mean, in a mental chokehold right now. Jazz going to drop yet again. First blood twice in a row. If that couldn't paint you a picture of just absolute devastation, Saucy and Log will absolutely do so. So two left standing. It's Bolo in space. Nobody would have killed. Space finally able to break that one. He's going to find two. He's going to get dropped. Lost Seminole. Out, I mean, they're yet. digging themselves right a up. bigger hole each round. I, I, I don't know what's happening right now. I am beyond confused. Like, this... This is the team that had the best S&D record in Mobile Mayhem this season, and they have got two kills through two rounds, and they're both from space. Yep. Off the end of that round, they weren't even impact kills. They, they were just like, hope that you can make something out of nothing in a 1v5, and space can get shut down once again. Law reads him like a book. He's got five kills through the start of this one. And they absolutely have the number of every single Seminole player right now. Jazz going to find one before getting traded. Solu. Solo and Bolu finally going to find a couple. And this is the first time it has been remotely close to an even retake for Seminole. But Bolu gets taken down and now all down to Solo. All right. Well, the, the duo here, Solo. Solo. So long, round, homie. Three yet. rounds. Ready up. Sold on the backs of some... I'm going to be honest with you. This is piss poor gameplay. I don't know if Seminole's doing the no-com challenge. Or if they're just, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what's Destroy going on. I saw Jez car. literally cross over into the opponent's boiler room. I don't think he even had audio. I don't know if he sounds or not. Obviously, you know, this one has a lot more to do than just with Jez. He's been an impact player in search of Detroit. Right now, Bolo's got to be the impact player. He's going to get impacted. Too many shots, though. <sighs> Can't handle it. Blur oh steps up to the plate. Swings, and it's a miss. Another strikeout. Has been planted. We got a 1v4. Space. He's got a UL. He might be able to do something. Nope, not happening. I mean, and Law specifically just doesn't look like the same player that we saw in that first series because he could not find a kill to save his life on just about any of the maps. He is currently sitting on 8-1. Eight and one. An 8 KD here on Meltdown. Four straight rounds off the start against a team that was widely considered the number one S&D team in Mobile Mayhem. Seminole absolutely scrambling, and the it, whether it's a lack of adjustments or adjustments just not being made at all, it simply has not mattered at any point as TLE absolutely steamrolling them right now and looking like they want to be the next team to shut things down in a 3-0. Uh, could be the case. Right now, we got to see some forms of life. I don't know. Something's got to happen for Seminole. They've got to completely... I don't know if they... Maybe they just, like, turn their phones off and turn it back. I, I don't know. I mean, something's got to happen. Space, Bomb able to find one there. Bomb's going to go down now as uh, Nate Shot is going to uh, hit on Zyrex. And he's going to be able to play his life. So we going to be able to read the rotation. But it's Solo who is too much to handle there. As we got a little bit of a split decision. One here on the gears, one on the sniper perch. Big encounter there for Bolo. Solo. Oh my god. He's not going to be able to make it out though. Bolo actually going to make it through. And Shisui right there on the back line just being a nuisance. They're going to be able to spread him out. And that's going to be Zyrax getting the kill. So far, so good. Five rounds. No signs of life for Seminole. And if we were to see a 7-0... In a lower bracket final in Mobile Mayhem, I, I I couldn't think of a more shocking thing given how competitive these teams have looked this season. But Seminole just have looked completely lost. And TLE have made the right read on every single play so far. Perfect utility. or no lines of sight for Seminole. 
Space hoping he can find somebody, and he gets Zyrax off the heady right there, so that's a brilliant start. And maybe an opening for them to make something happen right here. He gets a second one. Nobody in the back of generators, but there is a weak player in Suiwa, and that's three kills off the start of this one. He's looking to find himself an ace. Does see law slide through right there and could potentially get a couple more. He's got four in the round and an opportunity to start to turn this around. Three players alive, and he's trying to lock in this final kill to get himself an ace. Okay, well, I mean, the question here is, you know, you got to discard the ace if you're Simmel. You got to take these rounds when you can get them. And right now, it doesn't get any better than this. Blur going to be able to finally get on board. He still is the Blur. ace, but more importantly, they take the round and the drought is over. It was five rounds in a row. Just pure, utter dominance from the side of TLE. Seminole. Destroy the objective. All players get kills on board. We flip sides. They're down by four rounds. Still, not a lot of hope. But the sanctity to this one, let's see if they can turn it around. Saucy, the only player here to defend on the B side. Here's the utility coming through. Does not want to peek, and he's going to be forced way into the back. No angles to work with right now, and forcing the retake for the rest of the squad is seminal. Jez going to be able to get the bomb down. Definitely not looking like the same player that we saw last week up against Galaxity. Saucy's going to pick up one, but a couple trades on the opposite side. A flick out of Saucy. Oh. Clean on to Blur. He could not have the time to make the reaction, and Right now, opportunity with the Deagle. Clean shots out of Saucy once again. The two remaining Seminole players in a rough spot. Three TLE players pushing. Balu's going to be able to find one, but should be traded right here. And now all down to space. And it looks like the Diffuse going to go through. Space doesn't have the info. And now TLE one round away from closing things out. Uh, at least it's not a 7-0. I, I don't know, uh, you know how to retaliate that. That one could not have been played better, though, from TLE. The double child in the middle. The one player literally gets across without being seen space doing everything he can to keep the, the the play alive and obviously he's not in position to spectate where that bomb is getting diffused from where it was planted so not a lot here to work with here solo able to open up with the first blood he's already into the opponent's spawn site let's see how much more damage he can find as that bomb's going down a deep wrap from law as he's dropped the kilo he's got a cbr and this interaction there from xyrax leaves him just absolutely full hearted there. Takes down solo. So trades it through. We got a four V no, I'll make that a three V four. The retake looking like it might be the end of days here for Seminole. Law's gonna pick up another right there. She sweet. Oh, no first shot, but he wins the gunny anyway. Space not gonna be able to connect. Two players left, one HP. And my oh my, a seven one. Search and destroy against what is widely considered the number one North American search and destroy team. And uh, whew, TLE have flipped the switch, and they are back in the groove. I don't know. Maybe they're practicing the reverse sweeps. God, I hope so. Control right around the corner. They're going to need much more. See if she can close it out now. Is, uh, it's coming down to the wire here for Seminole in the days. They are opening up with the first bloods, though. And Seminole are here to play now. Is this a objective still going to be abandoned for the time being? Map control still going to be going back and forth. Right now, three for the price of one so far, make it four. Okay, this is a seminal team that is needing to uh, show up here in this game. Well, just as you say it, it's three yeah, wiped good. off completely for TLE. And they are stacking the point right here, trying to get this A zone captured. Solo's going to get spotted out right there. Zyrax looking for one more through the smoke, shuts down Bolu there. And just like that, life advantage in the hands of TLE. And right now... Seminole scrambling to find a way back into this one. Solo's going to be able to find one. Fennec in hand. He flashes himself. But gets the information that there's a TLE player on the opposite side. Another shutdown right there. Even though they're giving up that A zone. Should be able to set up well over toward B. And not a whole lot of lives given up. Not the worst oh spot God. for this TLE or for this Seminole squad to be. Oh, Solo. Played his life only just to get absolutely catched. He's a wee has woken up this monster is certainly delivering he's got six it's saucy getting involved there he's finally gonna get shut down now as uh we start to see map control for days here for seminal not seminal i'm sorry tle and already hopping this b side this is where the disconnect happened in their first series they could never fully commit to the b play or the b objective and they get that first stick of progress through now you got to force your bonus this frozen lake certainly treacherous if you make it
Well, Zyrak's gonna be able to sneak all the way through. He's trying to play his life, but he gets shut down by Solo. Unfortunately for Seminal, only four lives remaining. And you've got a lot remaining here for TLE. Nine to two. Suiwa trying to hunt down that last player. You got Solo down below. He's able to find one. But Space up on the high ground. Suiwa trying to get away. And a big kill for Space, but now he's in a 1v7. And once again, just hoping, praying for a miracle. I don't think that TLE is going to be gifting this one to him. Yeah, um... Whatever higher being is up there, they ain't coming through for space. I'm sorry, homie. There's not a lifeline that could save you. Not a lifeboat, not a life jacket. Well, you can save yourself. And certainly, you're going to have to be uh, spread thin at some point. And right now, I think that is that point. Second tick progress is going to be going through. A minute left to go on the clock. I, I don't know what TLE is doing. Do you want to play the objective, or you just want to kill space? <laughs> He's streaking up, too. So he does have the sparrow ready to go, but I would say it's premature if he does pop it. Unless he gets it down to a few kills right now. I think he might run out of ammo here on the reload log going to peek out Lost And round, what would have been is Ready not up. is one zero in favor of TLE. They strike quick Bobby Yep, and once again, I I, I don't know if Jez having connection issues It's a bad day for him, but a one and seven round number one And he's just not looked like himself the rest of Seminole kind of doing everything that they could right there, but He's going to get shut down once again. They've got his number. Saucy going to get knocked off of his Sparrow right there. Zyrax hopping up. Turns on to Bolu. What did I just watch? Oh, clean and trying to take down Solo there as well. Jez going to be able to finally find his second kill on the board. And Seminole hopping onto this objective. She Sweet Gravity Vortex going to go ahead and get things cleared off right there. And once again, TLE back into the spot where they'd like to be. She Sweet wraps the corner. Flicks left and right. Oh my, Bobby, they are cooking. He's in the spawn trap of a lifetime right here if he can continue to stay alive. TLE putting on the burners here in this second round. They've got a defense lockdown, but B actually going to be up for grabs. Jazz going to be able to capitalize. If he can't win the gun, he can play some objective. And she sweet is out of your spawn too. So one less thing to deal with, one less thing to worry about. One of the harder objectives to pop early. They're doing God's work on it though. Is the second take is actually going to be shut down. So we're going to pop the Annie right there. Not going to have any value out of it. But Law is going to find plenty with his sparrow. So 16 to 10 on the live count. You're dead to rights here if you can't win the gunfights. They can't win the objective either. Yep. It's just not looking good for Seminole right now. Solo. Having himself a bit of a game. I mean, not even a bit of a game. He's just not going negative. And that's that's about the best that Seminole can muster right now. But, man, oh, man. TLE have definitely turned things up. Solo's going to be able to flip through right there. And this is not a round that's over. It's only three lives separating the two. And Seminole's getting this A progress locked in. Another kill goes through. Solo's going to opt to pop the Purifier. Big kill right there, but he gets oh. traded out. And that could be the dagger here on this round. Jez... Just trying to get this progress over here on B. Trying to play his life, but only two lives remaining. Law, big kill right there and all down to Solo. Got a sniper in Ooh. hand. 1v5 would be God tier, but it's not meant to be. Lost right now, Seminole one Sorry. round away from heading home from the Mobile Mayhem playoffs. Yep. Oh my, I don't know what TLE turned... I, I don't I don't know. It's just like we saw them in the first series. They were... I mean, they put up a hell of a fight. Maybe LG is just that much better. I'm just going to put it on that. Seminole, not really a rising up to the occasion, per se. And TLE, they are absolutely grabbing the bull by the horns. That bull being Seminole, and they're having their way with them right now. Trying to get out of the spawn as we go three for three here in the opener. Saucy able to do so. Able to find the shots there. Jez, though, finally starting to come alive himself. Okay. Jez, you dirty. Able to find a three-piece in return. Solo going to get traded out. Blur going to be able to find the cap size on that kill there. But not a mountain of much, though, for the side of TLE. They have made it out of their spawn. Finally able to hop the hill. And that is going to put the pressure on here for Seminole. What a shot out of Saucy. Completely cross-mapping. Leave on to Blur right there. Jez going to try to push on through. Like you said, he's starting to heat up and... If you're TLE, that is the last thing that you want to see. Gets the information on the push coming through right here. They're taking all the progress off the board. And you got a two-life advantage. T-Sweet's got to go big with the Gravity Vortex. Is going to be able to take down Blur. 
But you're losing a lot of these gunfights. You gotta go big right here. Solo's been phenomenal for Seminole, and he's gonna pick up another two-piece. Here's one around the corner. Another big kill for him. He's streaking up right now, nearly on to the Hunter Killer. And right now, no progression for TLE on the offensive side. And a glimmer of hope, but two big kills come through for TLE. Yeah, they do, and they're gonna be able to hop the hill along with it. They're gonna be able to steal what is uh, a tick and a half. Uh, hold the phone, though. We do see Contest coming through. Blurs just got to hop the hill. They've got to put this one out of its misery. Big kills coming through for the man himself. Jed's going to find one as well. He gets traded out. Six to six. That's what it's coming down to. TLE looking to put this one away. They've got a Sparrow. And it's down to five. Everything being dropped here. It is now or never. Seminole have to win this round. Saucy rounds the quarter into the spawn. He gets dropped. The objective going to be capped. That's going to put us at a north of a minute left to go on the clock. Oh, no, never mind. Holy hell. Nice work. Get ready for the next round. Wow. I mean, this would be... This would truly be the ultimate reverse sweep if Seminole made it happen. Because not only were they down 2-0 in the series, down 2-0 yeah. in the control, they have a large uphill battle to climb. But at the bare minimum, it's not over. You're putting up a fight, doing everything you can. Law's going to be able to shut down one right there, make it two. Ooh. He's already got 18 kills on the board. He's going to get traded out by Blur. But life advantage going the direction of TLE once again. And they're looking to set up that spawn trap early. Yeah, they got a five life lead as well. B cap. Jez trying to hop the hill right now. The gunny is certainly hot for him as he's starting to catch a little bit of action here towards the end. But could it be too late? Suiwa now popping the ante. Looking to shut this push down. He is already into the spawn site. Hello, space. That's Suiwa on a five piece right there with the gunny and with the ante. I think it's more. He's got pocket full of streaks that are golden to ready the prime to use. And Jazz just trying to peel predator back anybody who gets in his way. There goes the, the Predator right there. This might be it. 47 seconds left to go. you got a five-life lead. The defense only needs to do one thing, and that's just continue to win their gunfights and play the objective. Yep. Solo around that corner. Suiwa doesn't make the read pre-fire. Shisui's there for the reinforcements, and at every turn, TLE making the right reads. That B progress coming through for Seminole, and once again... It's not over yet, but they've got to win a lot of these gunfights, and they got to get that B progress locked in as well. Suiwa doesn't make the read on a solo. Another big two-piece, and my, oh, my, he has been that guy for them. 30 kills on the board. Next closest is 19. Only down two lives right here, and this one is far from over, but a big couple of kills come through for TLE, and Seminole's got to play this one careful. Yeah, they do. Two life advantage. On the right-hand side of your screen, Jazz! Shutting him down for the top ropes. Bolo getting involved. Saucy there for the trade. It's down to eight to seven. Seminole, this is it. Your very last hit. You've got to be flawless here on out. Second tick of progress. Not going to come through just yet. But they got plenty of time to do it, Bobby. Solo has been absolutely clutch here in this control. Space getting involved as well. They've got it down to four. And this could be it. Law. Saucy trying to make the cross through the fire. They're going to clear it out. Bolu. On the objective, it's down to him and Blur. And there goes the grab vortex, Bobby. It's down to Blur. 1v4. And it's looking like it's just not meant to be. Valiant attempt out of Seminal. But TLE, they find their groove. A 3-1 here in the control. And they are going to be headed back to the grand finals. Oh my gosh. They, they just, once again, looked like a completely different team. Just too little, too late. Once again, Solo, I mean, that guy, he, he was doing it all for the squad, but 31 and 27, not quite enough. TLE goes big, and they're heading back for a rematch in the Grand Finals.